Hebrews says this, let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds. Not giving up meeting together. Why? Because if you're not meeting together with other believers, how are you supposed to spur one another on? You can't. And literally, Satan wants you isolated. Our enemy wants us isolated. But we can't give up meeting together. Some are in the habit of doing it. How many of you know some fellow believers and Christians who don't feel like they need church. Sorry, you're not going to find that in Paul's gospel, that we don't need to be gathering together, that we need to take of every opportunity to be together, to strengthen one another, to edify one another. I get tired of people justifying their lack of attendance in church, and they look at Paul and say, no, we need to be out. We need to be out of the church. Well, yeah, but First day of the week, let's gather together first, and then you have six days to be out on your mission field. That's what Paul set before us. But people use that. We need to be like, Paul, out there, out of the church. Listen, Paul loved the local church, and you should too. Because we need each other. We need the local church to come together together to edify one another, to strengthen one another, to encourage one another, to challenge one another. See, it's not, though, just enough to attend. We need to attend and go out and let people know who we are, the church.